we try very hard to do the do the best we can. I don't. I'm not farming this ground for me. I'm farming this ground for my kids. We're doing this now, but we also have to do it in 20 years or in 50 years. My kids are going to hopefully be able to do this. Whether they choose to do it or not is up to them. You know, that's a decision I can't make for them. But someday, hopefully, they'll at least have the opportunity to make that decision. I won't have messed it up by then. This actual farm right here you stand on is in my mom's family close to 100 years. They bought the farm in the late 40s, early 50s. There are a lot of times when you sit here thinking you should have done other things. Farming is a lot of stress these days because it, it involves a lot of financial decisions to make and uh, some farmers don't make it. So it's tough, uh, but it, it's been a good life. You know, my parents raised the boys that way. I raised two kids that way. I farm with my dad, my uncle, and my cousins, and we farm about 3,000 acres. And we're split about 50-50 for soybeans and corn. We've got soybeans, some of these were anywhere from uh, 25 or 30 up to 50, which is about average. 50 is probably, 45 to 50 is about average for us and for this farm. The yield was lower than we expected, but the moisture was high. The soybeans, because of the drought in August and because of some of the dry conditions, um, you know, we'll see. And then we weren't the first to do beans. We've had some neighbors do beans. We don't plant a bunch of short season beans to get into the, into the field harvesting beans early because we know that we have wet corn harvest and that always takes us until bean harvest. So we spent the last couple days kind of running around chasing after dry beans. Um, they dried down some because of the drought, some because of the maturity and the variety selection. Just a, a product of everything this year has just looked absolutely phenomenal. But in the last month, we know that we've taken the top end yield out. It's better than what we thought it was going to be. You know, the quality is definitely there. You know, they're smaller, but they're, they're still very good beans. But it's just been a struggle to find some that are dry. It's been a struggle to find some that are, that are ready to go. COVID, it's, it's affected all our families and all of us. You know, we had cattle, and we had cattle on feed, but, you know, the processing plants have all those workers packed together. <laughs> and so it wasn't about whether or not we could grow the cattle, it's a, or whether the markets could even take them. It's about whether or not the, the processing plant could process them. Uh, it, it wasn't anything to see a $200 head loss wow. on, on those cattle you sold in, in pretty much April, May, June, right, right up till it got a little better as we hit the summer then. Some of the markets came back a little bit. We'd love to have trade teams come out. We'd love to have individuals come out and come visit us. Uh, we'd be happy to show you around. We'd be happy to let you sit in the combine with us. We'd love to do that. We'd love to show, our, show what we're doing here. We're very proud of what we're doing.